Yeah, monuments are generally constructed to commemorate a play, an event, or a person. Usually the presence of these monuments are used to navigate a city or a place. So becoming a monument is an examination of the relationship of, of the navigator and the monuments. What would happen if these monuments disappear or uh, fall down? Um, how would a, a navigator um, place themselves or define where they are? Trieste in particular, I'd like to um, you know, make an iteration of becoming a monument here uh, because of the uh, ties I have with the city, regardless that I I was not born here or I'm not from here. I have ties through my relatives who worked as a migrant worker here. Basically, it is a way for me to understand their journey and also position myself as someone who came here um, because of work, how to relate to their journey and also not only to them, but also to other migrant workers here. I'd like to focus more on how I receive these stories rather than taking some pieces and reflecting on those um, stories. In the duration of my stay here, I've been um, talking to my relatives a lot. Regardless, there is an absence of association here, which is very important for my research. I was able to meet other Filipinos outside of an organization and as well as this was done through interviews, both virtual, because some of them live in a different place now. So through this, I'm um, trying to unlock the relationship of monument making through their perspective that is beyond the spectacle of monuments, so beyond the physical, more of um, focusing on the memory that in some way um, relates to um, the place where I'm from. My personal motivation for, for this is definitely rooted on my personal experience with remittance, which is, you know, like how when, when a person sends money to, you know, from one country to another. And I benefited from this um, through my uh, relatives here. I think I would be able to be, I don't think I will be sitting here. In the duration of this um, residency, I was able to discover some information just beyond my understanding um, why people leave the country and then work and then send money back home. Basically, like it's based on the readings I um, read. So for the output of this um, residency, initially I was thinking of doing a, an elaborate um, workshop, which uh, consists of string figure exercises, writing exercises, a lot of shadow work um, activities and focus group. Yeah, a lot of activities involving paper, as it is my medium that I mostly use. But through in the duration of this um, research, going to f um, around the city and doing field work, I realized that it would be best if the workshop happens on the day of the presentation. So I am, but, but prior to that, um, the output would be a combination of karaoke video um, that I am, where the, wherein the visuals are documentation of places here in Trieste where you can see nature, and so parks and gardens and also the, the seasides. So f for me, the output would be focusing on that instead of, because usually karaoke videos, when I was younger, usually um, they would show also the same images, the aspirational, um, on top of the lyrics about longing, about love, about um, friendship, about heartbreaks. And so I'd like to recreate that but instead of lyrics, it would be the text, the words, and reflections during my interviews with the people who are um, the migrant workers and also my relatives here. On the day of the presentation, there will be karaoke. I see karaoke as, a, in some way, a pilgrimage, a performance, some sort of yet in some way creating a kind of like a, the energy of the theater, but instead of there is a, you know, like instead of the light coming from the opposite behind the spectator, 
it is in front of the spectator. Everyone in the audience becomes the actor and the actresses. Um, and so I'd like to create that and use this studio as a way to embody um, that um, yeah, theatrics of karaoke.